Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share the syllabus of our upcoming Zero to Hero series that is AI Assisted DevOps. If you are someone who is new to this channel, let me quickly explain. This channel is known for Zero to Hero courses. If you go to the courses tab of this channel, you can find DevOps Zero to Hero, AWS Zero to Hero, Azure Zero to Hero, which includes Azure DevOps as well, Python, Terraform, Observability, Kubernetes, Docker, everything one needs to learn related to DevOps is available for free on this channel. And all of our Zero to Hero courses include theory as well as practical projects. So if you haven't explored the channel before, just hit the subscribe button and follow the channel. So going back, what is this AI assisted DevOps course about? So basically in 2025, everybody is talking about generative AI. But the big question is how DevOps engineers can make use of generative AI to enhance their productivity. So there are a lot of AI tools out there, but which of these tools are something DevOps engineers should focus on? Of course, we will not only focus on tools. When I explain the course syllabus, you will learn everything about the course. But for now, the course is all about how DevOps engineers can make use of generative AI to enhance their productivity related to day-to-day -day activities. If you are an aspiring DevOps engineer, this course is still beneficial for you because with this course, you can keep yourself up to date in the market. Now let's see what are the things that we will cover in the 10 day course syllabus. So this course does not have any strict prerequisites but it is better if you have the fundamentals of DevOps. So day one, we will start with introduction to generative AI for DevOps, where I will talk about what is generative AI and why is it required for a DevOps engineer. We will learn about LLMs, what exactly are they and how should you interact with LLMs. On top of that, with respect to DevOps landscape. If you look at DevOps landscape, there are a lot of things, right? Which we learned on the channel as well. You have Docker, you have Kubernetes, CICD, Python, observability. So what are the tools, generative AI tools that a DevOps engineer can use? We will also cover that in day one. And finally, we will do a simple hands-on session in the day one towards the end of the video. So day one will be pretty light because it is the first day of this series. However, you will have some important takeaways. Then in day two, we will get started with actual generative AI for DevOps engineers where we will start with prompt engineering. So Prompt engineering is super important because as humans, we communicate each other with languages like English, Hindi. Whereas if you want to communicate with large language model, the medium that is available is prompt engineering. So the efficient you communicate with large language models, the best is the output that you get, right? For example, if I communicate with you in a language you don't understand or if I don't communicate well with you, obviously the response that I would get from you is not that great. Similarly, you should be knowing how to use efficiently prompt engineering to get the best response from the models, that is LLMs. So there are a lot of things that we are going to cover in day two. For example, I'll be talking about what are tokens, 
parameters temperature max tokens i'll also talk about some techniques in prompt engineering which are very simple i will explain with examples as well such as what is zero shot prompt engineering what is few shot prompt engineering and what is n shot prompt engineering also in day 2 i will cover some basics of chain of thoughts and then we will try a practical hands on demonstration because we will be learning a lot about prompt engineering in day 2 so we will also try to put that in action like i told you every day will have theory part as well as practical part especially day 2 is super important for this entire series because as the large language models keep evolving the important skill for a software engineer is prompt engineering because large language models ai agents end of the day they are doing great and they are able to achieve the task they are able to perform the task on your behalf so what you need to do you need to be good at prompt engineering to give best inputs to the large language model okay then we will head to day 3 where i will show you how to run large language models local on your machine many of you might have tried it for example you might have run deep seek on your machine but what after that running deep seek or running llama is not a big deal of course you need to know how to run it locally but what will you do after that how do you make api calls with the large language models how devops engineers can communicate with local large language models on their machines to get best output and enhance their day to day productivity let's say devops engineer want to write a shell script or a docker file or a kubernetes manifest instead of getting that from chat gpt or public llm models how devops engineer can use the local models so that security is not breached in your organization you might have a lot of compliance and security running models locally will eliminate eliminate those issues okay and in day 4 we will step into one of the important pieces of devops engineering job that is scripting so how generative ai can help devops engineers with respect to scripting it can be shell scripting it can be python scripting we will learn what are the best tools out there and how to actually use those tools for your productivity we'll also do a demonstration and i might also give you a challenge towards end of the video then we will head to observability which is my favorite part because the role of generative ai is very critical in terms of observability why because observability is dealing with huge amount of data right as a devops engineer with respect to observability you deal with metrics you deal with logs you deal with traces in a nutshell you deal with huge amount of data and when there is a lot of data as humans no matter how many alarms you set no matter how many uh, alerts you put out there but still end of the day you are a human so you cannot predict particular pattern or you cannot anticipate a pattern that might impact you in future for example today your virtual machine cpu might be 50% usage might be 50% but can you predict after 15 days your application might crash because of cpu throttling or because it could not get enough resources from your machine so it is impossible as a human but generative ai can predict the patterns it can anticipate the future events and it can help you so we will try to understand what is the role of generative ai 
in terms of observability and incidence response. Day six is going to be continuation of that. That is AI ops, which most of you are looking at. To be honest, day five and day six, both of them are related to AI ops. So we will also try to take an enterprise tool because setting up AI ops with huge amount of data on open source tools like Prometheus, Grafana is not practically possible. I mean, it might be possible, but you might not see realistic information. So what we will do is we will pick up an enterprise tool. It can be Manage Engine, it can be Dynatrace. We will pick one and we will try to understand how AI Ops is implemented in real time. I'm going to show you real time data. It's going to be very, very important. So don't miss day five and day six. Of course, I would say don't miss any of these sessions because I'm going to put a lot of useful information. Then let's head to day seven. In day seven, we will learn how DevOps engineers can use generative AI with CI CD. We will learn how can you write pipelines with CI CD? How can you perform log analysis with CI CD? How can you, you know, improve your existing CI CD process using generative AI? We will also do a demonstration in day seven, just like any other day. Then we will head to AI agents. A lot of things are happening in the space of AI agents. So what we will do, we will also create a simple AI agent and we will understand how a DevOps engineer can build AI agent and ask AI agent to perform task on the behalf of a DevOps engineer. So we will do a cool demo as part of day eight. Then in day nine, another favorite subject of mine that is cloud cost optimization or FinOps. So we will learn both compliance, security and FinOps. How generative AI is going to play a role in terms of this. Again, important because even when you talk about FinOps, there is a huge amount of data. Whenever there is huge amount of data, as humans, we fail, but generative AI shines in that space. So using generative AI, we will learn how we can predict cost optimization or, you know, how we can help organizations to reduce the cost. We'll also do a demonstration in this video as well. Finally, we will do a capstone project that is, you know, we will do kind of a, a huge project with generative AI. I'm still thinking what project it is going to be, but we will try to use AI agent. We will try to uh, basically mix all the things that we have learned from day one to day nine and do a capstone project so that you all can showcase it on your social platforms or it's going to be very fun for all of us. So this is going to be 10 days of AI assisted zero to hero. Let me tell you, because this is just the syllabus, I might have missed some very interesting things. As we step into each day, that is in day one, day two, day three, as we go with the videos, you might be seeing a lot of things that I did not cover in the course syllabus. Course syllabus might change, but in a positive way. That means I might enhance the course syllabus so that we all get the best out of it. And every week I'm planning to do at least three episodes. You will find all the videos on this channel. You don't need any registration. You don't need any sign up. Just subscribe to the channel so that you get updates. And also you can follow our telegram channel where I only post information related to the videos or any documents that I find useful. So you can also get updates about the videos on the telegram channel. Course will be started. That is day one will be started from 10th of March. That is tomorrow at 
9 pm IST, you will see the first video on the channel. If you have any more questions, do let me know in the comment section or follow our Telegram channel to get the updates. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.